evening. Welcome to the Basement Golf Show. Is it going to be Jason's day? I think it might be Jason's day. We'll yeah. find out. Right guys, this week in social media, obviously lots going on. Um, just having a little look through the Players' Championship. Mm, obviously, yeah. Rory and his jogging trousers. Yeah, they're something else, aren't they? Uh, I can't say I'm a massive fan of the joggers. No, I wasn't a massive fan of the joggers or the shoes either, to be honest. No, I think... I much prefer Ricky's shoes, one of each colour. Now, that's, yeah, Ricky's that's shoes a bit out good. there. I like that. Yeah, I, yeah I, wasn't, I, like that. I wasn't liking the high tops to start with when he first brought them out, Ricky, but... Yeah, I'm starting to grow on me, though, high tops. But the joggers on Rory? No. Nah. Not for me. No, it's not a golf thing, I don't nah. think, for me. So we also had a look at some um, tweets this week, and there was a big yeah. report about what tweets are worth. Now, I didn't think Twitter was for profit. I didn't think there was much you could make out of it. Apparently, Tiger Woods' tweets are worth $34,000 each. Can you believe that? I mean, um, no, like I'd be definitely be tweeting every yeah, I'd be every tweeting minute every, of the day. Every five minutes. <laughs> yeah. and I'm sure. I'm sure. Actually, thirty-four thousand dollars to Tiger is about a minute's worth. One hundred and forty characters. So, what happened last week in the old Quail Hollow? Then we didn't do very well. No, our predictions didn't go great. As we did <laughs> say to you guys, we would probably get it wrong, yeah. and we did. Yeah, I'm going to go with Ricky. Form around that course. He's won there before. He has. Yeah, he looked like he finished in. strong yesterday. Mm -hmm. Nice shine to the last. Bit. I'm going to have to go with Justin. Yeah. I mean, he is playing such good golf at the moment. He's just, just so consistent. Yeah, he he looks in great form. He's definitely going to win this year. I think there's no oh, question about yeah. that. Um, it's just his putting. That's always the thing we did. I mean, the only thing, the only saving grace for me was I did say Justin's putting would blow up. Yeah, um, and, and, I wasn't, and I wasn't sure about the claw. No, so, you, were, uh, you were right about the claw. I don't. Well, it'll be interesting to see how long he keeps with it. Yeah, I just, for me, he, he looks so natural, yeah. right below left. Mm -hmm. We just got to hope that he just gets it back. Because again, this week in the players, moving into the players. Justin was right up there in week one, in, in day one. It looked like he was going to have a great week. Yeah. And then he's nowhere to be seen. Mm. As soon as the course got tough, and it did get tough, didn't Ooh, it? Them, them greens are like putting in your bathtub. Yeah, putting in your bathtub. That's a good one. <laughs> um, they didn't. They did make a lot of it on the coverage last night, but they were tough. Yeah, like you could see on on some of the lower pitches as well. Like they were spiking up, which is which you'd expect to see when that many expect, people go yeah, around yeah. it. And um, but yeah, just so quick. They are quick. It'd be interesting to see what they do tonight. It'd be interesting yeah, to see what they do yeah. overnight to see. The, I mean, the guys were saying as they as they stopped past a, that sky, sky cart park. on the way through that they weren't particularly firm, so no. you could it would receive a shot. It was just, just they were just so quick. Yeah, and they're so slopey as well. They're they're probably not designed to be quite as fast as they got. No, them. probably not. No, I think they got it fairly right. So predictions this week then. Jason's obviously leading. Is he going to finish it off? Yeah, I just can't see anybody getting past him. I just he just hits it, it like like that shot last night. Oh, just in front of the green, yeah. you chip it in for par. Yeah, I'll do in that. In it then. goes. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I can't like you say. I can't see anyone challenging him enough. I mean, he had countless double bogeys yesterday, and still leading. and still leading. He still knew how to get it back. Yeah. And the he only gave guys... Rory that sort of glimmer with like double. What did he go? Double, double. Like, yeah, something like that. Had a couple of doubles on. early, didn't he? And then yeah, all the of a sudden you line. think, oh, here we go, we're all, all back in this. And uh, the only people that puts his foot down again. the only people that made any contentious move towards him were people that were playing the course the wrong way around yesterday, weren't they? Yeah. The people that were finishing like Ken Duke, who finished on the front nine. What round that was? That was a great round. But he'd got his, he'd got the back nine, the harder holes, mm. out of the way early. Yeah. Before the pressure built, and then he just went birdie crazy, silly like that. Well, yeah, you had a putt for six. Yeah. And then I think he he got that one for par, and then. And then, Better yeah, the kicked, kicked on, yeah. yeah. It was brilliant. brilliant very, brilliant very round. good round of golf. 65, did he shoot? Yeah. 65 when the when the average on the day was 76, pushing 77. That is good going. You know you play well. Mm. So, yeah, I think we're both in agreement that Jason Day is going to do it this week on the PGA Tour. Can't but really European see. Tour in Mauritius. European Tour. So, Mauritius, whew, what a lovely place to be. This yeah, time take year. a week out of Mauritius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. If anybody's 
like once a golf coach me and yeah. Simon uh, are available. Mm, definitely, yeah, for a week or two. Yeah. So yeah, who's leading out there? So you got Raman re- leading out there, mm-hmm. seven under. Then you got Wang at six under, and then you yeah. got Andrew Dote, who. He was, he was there, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, didn't really away. have the best of third round, shall we say. No, Five no. over, but like he said on his interview, he just said it's golf. It's golf, it's what happens, isn't it? We it's all do just it. It's just really tough. Mm-hmm. Just a tough, tough game. So, yeah, like, I think one of those t- front two are going to get it done. I think three under from seven under is just a bit too far back know, to make up on the last know. day. I don't know, Cole Sartes is three under as well. Yeah, he is. The three unders, if, if either of those first two play fairly well, I think... Yeah, being that far back, it's tough. Isn't it's it, on the last tough, day. Isn't and especially on a course that's not that's designed for birdies, isn't it? It's designed. Yeah. They're going to go. Yeah, they're, they're not going to go. They're not, not going to go backwards. Shoot, like, well, well, you could from, shoot yeah. five over. Dot did, didn't he? Now I'm going to go with Colsarts. I reckon Colsarts is going to do it. You reckon? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be too much for Wang to win two weeks in a row. And I just think Ryman hasn't been there enough. And Colsarts is the class player in that field. Right. I'm going to go with Mr. Wang. Oh, yeah. I think two weeks running, confidence high. Okay. Everything in good check. Let's go for it then. He's going to kick on. Okay. Back to backs. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? It'd be nice for him. It'd be lovely. Right. I think it's about time. That time, is it? It is that time. So Simon will explain what's going on in the links while I just sort his questions out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to challenge Yes. This week. Yeah, Adam did it last <laughs> week, so you can see the Adam score on the leaderboard. 66 there for me to beat. So the Linksman is going to be a nice and simple quiz that we want you to get involved with. Please send in your requests to the links below if you want to get involved in the Linksman. Simple quiz, five questions. You start on 100 points and you get points off for each question that you answer correctly. Five points for the first three questions. Up to five points for the fourth question, which is always guess the golfer. And the last question is guess the year. If you get the year right, you get 21 points. If you get a year out, you get 20 points, and so on as your guess gets further apart from the year that it's supposed to be. Right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. So, question one every week, recent golfing event. Unfortunately, it's a sad event. So, which golfing star has died this week? Which golfing star has died this week? Would you like a clue? No, I don't think I need a clue. I think it is the man who hit the famous one iron at the Belfry at the Ryder Cup, Christy O'Connor. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, very sad. Unfortunately, that is correct. 91 years old, 10 Ryder Cup appearances and a Hall of Fame member. Yes. You, sir, yes. you were a legend. You were a legend, yeah. Okay, question number two. So we're at Sawgrass this week. Yep. Yeah. So at this very event, mm-hmm. who hit the shot? And said, "Be the right club today." Oh dear! With Mr. Know. Woods down the last. I'm so happy know. that you've all got you. Yeah, Adam <laughs> Scott. No. Hal Sutton. Oh right. Okay. No. No. Miles away. Yeah. Slightly different build. Yes. Yeah, slightly. <laughs> slightly. What year was that? Well, now you've got me. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. It was a while ago, I imagine. I don't know. Um. So, question number three. Which playing superstar of the world okay. has been leaking pictures on social media this week about his new upcoming song? Well, so he's a superstar in the world yeah. that loves a, a game of golf. Justin yeah. Timberlake? Justin Timberlake, you, correct. correct. I know my pop knowledge. That's it. So, guess the golfer. This player went to college at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. No, that could be pretty much. Yeah, that could be anyone, couldn't yeah, it? Yeah, that could be so, anyone. So, um, I think you're going to go quite recent with your golfer. I'm going to go Danny Willett. No, not okay. Danny Willett. Okay. You're in the right ballpark. Uh, male golfer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well done. <laughs> so, clue number two. Um, he's a partner in a brewing company. Ooh. We're quite happy to test any mm, examples. Yeah, yeah, always happy to test beer. Um, if you think I'm in the right park, I'm going to go English golfer that went to college in America, Luke Donald. No. Okay. He has an MBE. Has an MBE, so he's he's British then. I'm doing so quite well here. You are doing well. You, I'm thinking Ryder you... Cup star then. He's probably got an MBE for winning the Ryder Cup a few times. 
Casey? No. Okay. No. You, you good with Ryder Cup, though? Yeah. You'll probably get it after, okay. after this one. He's played in three Ryder Cups. Yeah. Including holding the winning putt. We're jumping all over him. McDowell? Graham McDowell. Okay, okay. Did yeah, it's Graham. You've got any of that beer? Yeah, lovely. Definitely. Let's see if we can him, get a picture of that up on Tim, the screen. Keegan Bradley and Freddie Jacobson. Cool, I bet there's some interesting board meetings. Yeah. <laughs> you imagine them three sat around the table. Yeah, okay. was, obviously I think he serves it at, is it Nona Blue? Mm, possibly. Let yeah. us know. Restaurant. I don't know. At Lake Nona. <laughs> Okay, guess the year then. Guess the year. So You're doing very well here. Yeah. Need to get this close to. So obviously, guys, we um, we have the major champion from each year, mm-hmm. and Simon's got to try and guess it. Guess so it from the majors. The US PGA Championship. Yeah. Sean McKeel. Okay. The Open, Ben Curtis. Yes. The US Open, Jim Furyk. Yes. And the Masters was Mike Weir. Okay, so that's two thousand and three, four, five. Which one? Which one? 2003. 2003, yes. Yeah. Four points, so 21. The only reason I remember that is what, Ben wedge, Curtis. Wedge display. Well, yeah. Mark ben Wedge. Curtis winning the Open and then Todd yeah. Hamilton winning the Open the next year mm-hmm. being two completely random winners of the of the British Open at the time and yeah. never done anything before. And I always remember that was three and four and then 2005 was when Tiger won again. So Good stuff. Good, please. That Very was good. the score. So you got, um, and the guess the golf we were what four clues down. So yeah, what's so that? that's uh, two points. Two points and for then that 21 one. Twenty-one for the and getting the year spot on. You. Yes. Yeah. I'm pleased about that. I was going to go something really hard, and then I thought, well, it's a bit, bit harsh. So. It's a bit harsh. A bit harsh. So, we. Oh, I thought you've done me by one, one point. Yeah, 67. sixty-seven. Yeah, very good. Dang. It was, it was my year. I should have gone more difficult for you. Yeah, well, your, you probably your thought golfing, you were quite Your history knowledge is, is very good. It's quite good, yeah. My, recent, good. My, my random knowledge isn't very great, but, but yeah, my recent... I'm quite happy that I've tripped you up and worked out. Yeah, that was a good one, McDowell. That was some good clues. I like that. So, yeah, yeah if you want to get involved in Links Master, we're going to run it every week. So, please yeah. so let, us, let us know in the links below. Use the old hashtag PJ365. That's it, and we'll try and get you on, guys. Uh, even if... We have to just do it via FaceTime, something like that. Yeah. We'll, we'll we get, get you it on done during the week. You don't have to be someone fairly local. No, it can, doesn't have to can... be live. You don't have to get down here. It's fine. We can do it. We can do it any, anywhere, any, you like. anytime. <laughs> what we have to do, or what you have to do, send us your swing. Tell us who you are, where you are, and then let's see a swing of your driver as hard as you can. We're going to start this week with our friend Matt West. Yep. Who's... So this is um, Matt. We went down to Raw Blackheath. Um, just did a putting lesson down there with Matthew Johns. We'll try and put his uh, details at the bottom as yeah, well. London very, putting. very good. Very if good. you go down, guys, really recommend it. Um, we played the course afterwards mm-hmm. in lovely condition, Royal Black Heath. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, Matt decided that he was going to take on a short par four. So did I thought, he? perfect a, time a, for a great big time whack. to video. So <laughs> yeah, Matt West, this is your big whack. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. See you next week. See you next week. Cheers. Hi, I'm Matt West. This is my big whack. Matt uses a tailor-made slider 9 degree, motor speed is 7.377 grams stiff leg shaft for his big whacking.